hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. What, you don't class IBO as... Well, look, I don't, I don't mean to disappoint you, like, but I class the IBO as a world title for a simple reason. It's a really good, it's a really good run or organisation, and I, I class the IBO as a world title belt. Now, many years ago, when Nigel Benn won the WBO middleweight title, the British Boxing Board of Control, they didn't class it as a world title, right? And, and whenever anybody won the WBO, nobody really classed it as anything. James Don't Tony used to say, WBC, we be crooks. The WBO, we don't even class it. That's what he used to say as a belt. Now, eventually, Ring Magazine said, you know what, we're gonna class that as the fourth belt. So I, th I think when Ring Magazine give you the nod, it's classed as a belt. Now the IBO and the Ring Magazine people don't really get on. So if that relationship's ever repaired, the IBO will be the fifth belt. See where I'm it's coming from? Regarded as a genuine world title. Yeah, be a genuine world title. And everybody will be like, do you know what? It's a good belt that. But at the moment, nobody's giving it any code or they? You know what I mean? I think, I think Kim Galahad will stick, stick Sheffield Arena out of me, who's on points, Moreno on points, I think uh, Dave Allen will win by, they should win by knockout from it, based on uh, Dorian Darch has lost his last six fights by knockout, so that's my predictions for the weekend anyway. Well, I forgot who's fighting on the show, but you've got Opie Price, he wins by knockout, Dave Allen by knockout, Terry Harper by knockout, Although, because of that girl's experience, he could go to points. Yeah. So, that's going to be an hard one. So, my accumulator is going to be Dave Allen knockout, Opie Price knockout. That's if the bookies will accept it. Terry Harper win. I'm just going to go for win on that because I think she's capable of stopping that girl. She'll drown, she'll drown her down home straight, trust me. Terry Harper to win, but I think knockout, but if you're going to have a bet, just go for win. Uh, kid Galahad knockout, Kel Brook knockout, it's going to be a feast of knockout. Oh, who's the other kid on? Anthony Tomlinson, he'll win by knockout. He'll, he'll smoke that uh, Scottish kid. He'll beat him. Well, he's yet to be tested yet, but he's answered every test on his soul. We'll put a question mark against Anthony in a moment. But if he beats this kid here, he's got to be looking at Johnny Gart and Conor Benwin. Got to be. Got to be. Yeah, that's all level, isn't it? Got to be, or Josh Kelly. Yeah. Why not? You think Joe Brook will win then? And then call out, I want to find me a cat. Come on, Eddie. A cat, dude. I don't know. I think Kel Brook wins. But I think he could stink place out. 14 months out, they're expecting a lot, aren't they? Yeah. But, I mean, Dave Allen against Dorian Dark, I mean, that, somebody's going to get hurt, you know, with some of this matchmaking, you know. Yeah, it's not good, Dave could set about him, right, and really damage him. Yeah. And do you know what? If Dorian Dark turns up and he stinks, and he stinks the place out, right? If he turns up and stinks that place out, what what does that say for Dave? If he don't get him out there? Yeah, well, he seems to be more of a trainer these days, doesn't he? Yeah, that one. He's what? He seems to be more of a trainer than actual boxing, right? Yeah, that one. I thought Ray uh, Doyle were training him. He's training all these kids, though, isn't he? Yeah, but isn't Ray Doyle training Dave Allen at Steffi Wall's gym? Yeah, it might be, yeah. yeah. Well, he's got a trainer then. But he seems to just be more focused on these kids he's 
This is how I look at it, right? This is how I look at it. Dave don't need a trainer, does he, to fight Dory and Darch? No. So you don't have to give 10% away to anybody, do you? No. But if Dominic Ingle were training him, he's going to want 10%. So, yeah. what about somebody to train him when he's in the proper fight? Then you've got to pay 10%, haven't you? Yeah. Now, if I were Dave Allen, I would have took that offer from Dubois. Because he's never, never going to get another offer like that unless he strings together some wins because that offer could be gone now but as long as he's winning and offering about he might get that offer again he just mine but maybe next time he shouldn't be listening to people in his ear hole who he thinks know it all because Eddie Hearn let's have it right put Kel Brook in with Golovkin he put uh, Kel Brook in with Errol Spence he put Lee Purdy in with Devin Alexander, he put Paul Smith in with Andre Ward, David Price in with Povetkin, Eddie Hearn's not bothered, he put Dave Allen in with Otis, so why listen to somebody when they're putting matchups like that? Just because you get a good offer from Frank Warren, he's going to regret that for the rest of his life. When he puts his head on that pillar at night, the last thing he's thinking about is Triple D with his readies, big bag of readies, and it's slipping through his fingers. That's what he'll be thinking about. Yeah. Knocking all that money back. Yeah, I've never won a title, has it? Anti won a British Masters now. I'm not sure, but to me, you should be. You should no, be I don't. Maybe English, English, British level, something, you know. Let's have a look. Let's have a look if Dave's won a belt. I think he wants to be looking at winning a British title. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, he's got to be looking at winning a British title. Dave Allen box break. No, no, what a bell. Dave Allen will win a British title when it becomes vacant and it's somebody like Nick Webb, somebody like that, or somebody who's. Tom Little, somebody like Tom Little against Dave Allen for vacant British when everybody else has gone, that belt will be in Dave on his on his mantelpiece. It don't matter, it don't matter who you win, it's how you get the belt, because a lot of people get British titles who don't deserve them. Sometimes people do, some don't, but Dave Allen's put in some Hard nights for Matchroom and he's got no reward, has he? What's he got? He might have a few quid, but he's not got a bell. How many rounds has Dave Allen won against Lenroy Thomas, David Price, Dillian White, Ortiz, and Tony Yoker? There's five fights there, five defeats. How many rounds did he win in them fights? Now he said on IFL, I've been told, two rounds against Lenroy Thomas. I'd have thought he would be harsh on himself there. So if you're winning two rounds out of, what's that, 51 rounds or something? Yeah. Lenroy Thomas, with that 10 or 12? I think you were 12, wasn't it? 12. Dillian White, 10, 22. Waters, 7, 29. David Price, 10, 39. Yoka, 10, 49. If you're saying you won two rounds out of 49, does that mean you've been bashed about for the other 47. Well, it does that. Well, if you're taking that kind of punishment and you can't win one round against David Price, I think, and you'll get offered all that money that you got offered against Dubois, and then you suddenly say you want another 100 grand on top of an offer like that, I think you're badly advised. And the person who were advising him, Darren Barker, is telling Dave Allen to quit. And he don't want to train him because he's had too much punishment. But yet he were willing to train him for Daniel DeBar for 350 fucking grand, wasn't he? Am I right? So Darren Barker's willing to train Dave Allen for 350 grand to fight DeBar. And because he didn't get the fight, he's telling him to pack it. 
Because he's had too much punishment. What the fucking hell? Got so fries, bro. And sorry for swearing, but you know, I, I look at these people and I think, you pieces of shit, fucking Darren Barker, doing that to a fucking Donny lad. You all. That's Mr. Macho Darren Barker for you, then. Yeah, it's all right. Tell them you want this much, and I'll train you. We'll get you fine. No, say this, say that. You go your own way. You just thrown a quarter of a million pound down the fucking drain. And, and you know what? The funny thing is, I'm, I'm not going to stay on it because it's not fair. When I heard what they were fighting for this weekend, I thought, is he off his head? Yeah. Is he off his head? You should have picked up the phone and phoned Dennis and he would have got some good advice. 250 grand coming off a 10 round defeat against David Price where you lost every round. 250 grand? is what? Five in the hand, two in the bush. I don't know. I think that's bloody good. You? Yes. Considering you've not won an area belt, you start telling people you want 350 grand. And we've got kids on here fighting for world titles for 70 grand. But Dave Allen's gonna fight the bar. They're knocking 250 back. They want 350. Come on, boss. But yeah, he's staying loyal to Matcham. Well, Matcham, I've just shown him how loyal they are. What are they paying him this weekend? I mean, what's all that about? It's craziness. Craziness. That kid spilt guts for Matcham. And you know, in years to come, when he's talking like Riddick Bow, where's Eddie Hearn going to be then? Where's Darren Barker going to be? Darren Barker will be running around with a camera on a job that Matchroom have created for him. The Matchroom YouTube channel. Because Darren Barker couldn't do anything else. Well, he couldn't train fighters, could he? He trained Dave Allen. What were his, what were his, uh, what were he saying to him in that corner? Oh my God. Should have got Mick Marsden back on board. You are. He's not well, he didn't look very good with Lee Payne, did he? He, he, he? he threw toweling on that one, didn't he? Yeah. Everybody who Darren Barker trains, they all end up in an hard fight, they end up bashed up. Gets me mad, mate. Gets me mad. And you know another thing about Darren Barker? <clears throat> he fought for a world title in Germany and they were injured. And they were injured. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Came out swingers, didn't he? Only time he's ever done that in his career. Because he knew he couldn't get through the fight. But they just shuffled him over the line, didn't they? And they all backed Sturm to win, didn't they? Yeah. Unbelievable, mate. Darren Barker, Mr. Genuine, Mr. I love the sport of boxing. Tell him you want another 100 grand, Dave, and I'll train you. And then when he doesn't get the fight, bins Dave Allen. I mean, come on. Lifelong friend, do me a favour. Dave, get him dropped. He's not your mate. This is why we love the sport so much. This is why we love Rough, tough, <laughs> This is why we love the sport so much, Johnny. Rough, tough, rugged. <laughs> Mr. Bean. You are. Exciting times ahead. Bean. Run a bean. Could have been. Should have been. Never been. Baked bean. So, I think that's about it then, isn't it, mate? That was about it, yeah. Four parts are going up. I'm going to put this out tomorrow. I'm going to premiere it for tomorrow. Part one, part two, part three, part four. All right? I'm going to call it. I don't know yet. I've got a few thumbnails that some some of my pals have sent me. So we're going to put uh, we're going to put them on. We're just gonna just take the piss, aren't we? We're gonna take the piss because who's gonna fucking bother me? We're gonna take the piss and we're just gonna tell it straight. Shout out to Fano, Neil Fano, up north. How are you doing? Boom, boom, boom. Nice to hear that you follow me, channel. He's a trainer up north. Uh, I think Ritson trains up there, does he? I'm not sure. 
But well, nice to know, oh, he trains somewhere up here. Nice to know him and Jaffa watch the channel, thank you very much. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet, but if you've got any ideas, text me. But like I said, we've covered a few bases. Porky and Cam's rant. So, I just want to say to all you people in the boxing industry who I may have offended today with this video, can I just say that I do not give a flying F U Z K? No problem. Come see me! Don't make phone calls, come and see me. And buy you a drink, eh? They usually, when they come see me, they usually mates for me. So, other than that, I'm alright. Are you alright, Cam? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Well, we're plodding on, aren't we? Moving on, yeah. Are you coming to uh, where? Where do you live then? I live over in, uh, in Keithley, you know, near Bradford. Keithley, yeah. Where are? See the car hotel in Bradford, Cedar Court Hotel. What weight are you fighting at? It's like 78 kilo. 78 kilo, yeah. What's that like, heavy? We're doing about 83 above, so I've only got about 5 kilo to lose. So that should be alright. How's your training going alright? Yeah, good, mate. I'm training at 6 o'clock tonight, so. Good man. Well, it's 25 to 4, so. Crack on with your training. If anyone wants tickets, bro, just send me a message on Twitter at Cobra0496. Uh, at Cobra0496 is your Twitter. That's my Twitter name, yeah. I've just got it back to it because you get a few on this one there, don't you? But there's some good people up there as well. Yeah, there's, there's some good people. people working on there, really. There's good people in all walks of life, uh, Cam. We have to root out all the bad ones though, don't we? Yeah. No problem. No problem, mate. Listen, all the best. And I'll get this up as quick as I can. Like I said, I've got a lot on tonight. Uh, all right, mate. You take care, Cam. Cheers, mate. Take care, mate. Right. One hour, 40 minutes. So that's three minutes before one hour. So that's... 1 hour 20, what's that? 1 hour 60. 2 hours, 2 hours, 2 and 3 hours. 30, 60, 90, 120. 5 parter. 5 parter, so that's 5 thumbnails. 5 hours to upload. Plus the one on way here this morning. 6, plus the video I did for Kevin here. 7 videos, 7 videos to go out. So you're going to have a porky feast, all you porky followers. Alright, I think it's at no lever, eh? <laughs> what do you reckon? I'm David A. I'm cool. Alright, isn't it? Got big time anyway, lever. Well, it's got loads of pockets. I like it when you've got loads of pockets because you can just... You can wake up one day, can't you, and find something in your pocket, can't you, a little treat, you think, oh god, I forgot to do that. I don't have the problems no more. So, Tully Bardine, Island Scotch Malt. So I think that's about it, really. I think we've covered all bases. Uh, I didn't like to bring the old Barry Hearn thing up. I might uh, get some new gloom sunglasses. I didn't like to bring the old Barry Hearn thing up, but it's like an itch that's itching away at me, you know. Something that's mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein's book with all the appalling crimes that he did. I think that nobody mentioned it in the boxing industry is nothing short of scandalous. Uh, all them people that keep saying, yeah, you know, I'm hardcore me, I'm this and that. And all these YouTubers that keep going on about morals, and yet not one of them dares say a word, dare they? Nobody dares say a word, not IFL, not none of them. I have a big problem with that. I also have a problem with Darren Barker. I've got a problem with you. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't like what you stand for. Any man that's got a damaged hip and knows he's going into a world title fight with fans going over to another country in Germany, and you know that you've got a bad hip, that hit popped in round one. Then you know that. For all them people that are better against you and knew about it, I think that's bad. I think that's really bad. It's nearly as bad as 
it's nearly as bad as, in my opinion, the kid that for oh, wait now, his, not his name, Nicky Cook, where he fought Ricky Burns. Nicky Cook had a really bad back, didn't he? And he fought Ricky Burns, and his back went in the first round. Things like that leave a bad taste in my mouth. And that obviously buried Frank at the sky, didn't he? That's why this, the, he had the big fallout with Sky. Fans don't know about these things, and I don't agree with that. And I don't agree with Barker. You know, telling Dave Allen to ask for more money. And then when he didn't get the fight, not wanting to train him, saying, uh, I don't, I don't want to train you, I'm your mate and all that. But yeah, you were going to train him. You were going to train him for a 350 grand purse, because you'll get 10%. But yet, you don't want to train him to fight Dorian Darch, because he's fighting for chump change. That, to me, is double standards. That is what we call a fair weather friend. So, Darren Barker, you're a fair weather friend. That's what you are. So, it's my opinion. You're in Sheffield this week. Come see me. I'm only a couple of miles away. I'm here all day. So... Alright, so I'm going to be well about 8 o'clock so I'm doing like 10 while 8 every day, so I'm not hard to find. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, fantastic sport. Shout out to SYPS, UK Limited and Innovation Alloys. You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>